All right, so I'm gonna get started. So let me make this up. All right, technical problem. Um, so welcome to the infrastructure at you um, for, for October. All right. Today I'm gonna talk about focus and strategy, uh, growing the infrastructure team, groupings and, de and design, which is something that we're doing at infrastructure to improve our communication, Q4 OKRs, and then um, looking to CICD within infrastructure and through engineering at large. Uh, our focus and strategy continues to be a relentless focus on GitLab.com availability, except that as we head into the new quarter, we've added this observable. So we spent a lot of Q3 um, sexually duct taping the environment to improve availability and address some blaring issues that we were having. And now on Q4, we're gonna focus on being able to have better uh, visibility into the environment and to be able to better measure our availability and where we're running into issues. Our, our overall goal continues to be uh, to get ready for mission critical customer workloads um, and that it really entails uh, predictability when we're making changes in the environment. Uh, lots of changes are on the infrastructure team. Um, Amar joined us in, in August. Uh, lots of us had a, a chance to meet him. So welcome Amar, we're super excited to, to have him on board. And then we're gonna be very, very busy in November onboarding new members in the infrastructure team. Uh, three SREs have signed up and then a new DBRE uh, will start uh, sometime in October. So we're super excited to have them on board. Uh, again, we're gonna be super busy. Uh, in November onboarding, but it's it's a great problem to have. I'm very excited. Also, we welcome Jose, who's been with us uh, since very the last day of August, uh, early September. He joined us as the engineering manager for SAE. Um, he's been ramping up and it has been working on Postgres and essentially managing the availability team. Um, so welcome, Jose. Three of the four people joining in November are reporting to Jose, so uh, we'll lend him a hand uh, with the onboarding process. I want to talk a little bit about blueprints and designs. One of the things we're trying to do is to over communicate what we're working on and what we're thinking about uh, infrastructure work. And so these are the two areas where we're focusing. Uh, we started this section in the infrastructure page called blueprints. Uh, we do a, a quarterly update where we essentially try to set up the priorities and the work we're focusing on for the following quarter. And we also publish some topic specific to flesh out specific things. So for instance, we recently uh, put out one about CICD. Uh, the URL here, uh, you can find it in the infrastructure page of the handbook. We're also starting to produce design documents. Uh, so we're writing out our thinking process about the solutions that we're trying to implement to address specific problems or implement uh, ideas. We want to get better at driving decisions methodically. Uh, a lot of this work was already happening on issues, but we want to have the result of the conversations that we're having in issues as, as far as how we intend to solve problems in a more cohesive um, format. And we want to, to, to be able to, to frame some of the technical conversations that we're having about some issues. The biggest driver for this is that complexity in, them, in the environment is increasing as, as GitLab.com gets bigger. And some of the problems we're solving, we're having to make a better estimate as to, uh, a little bit of a better estimate in terms of long-term effects for these solutions. So we're trying to be more disciplined around um, documenting these. Q4 OKRs, we finished the process of um, Q4 OKRs and uh, we're essentially uh, focused, again, as I mentioned, on observable availability. I'm not gonna go through all of these because you can read them in the handbook, but I do want to highlight some of them because they follow from work that we did in Q3. Uh, specifically, we continue to drive availability improvements in the database uh, in terms of backup, restore, verification, and replication because the, the database is a critical aspect of the infrastructure. And then we're getting better at managing the infrastructure queue. Also, uh, we use Geo to do the GCP migration uh, and Geo is an integral part of how we plan on doing um, DR for GitLab.com. And then 
we're, we're trying to get better and we're working on uh, getting better at essentially managing our workload and being able, again, to get more predictable on, on the amount of work that we can take on. And then we have some specific projects that Andrew is working on in terms of alerting error budgets, dashboards. Uh, he's also gonna be working on distributed tracing and then he had done some fantastic work to deal with DDoS attacks in July, and we want to essentially take that to the next level and polish that tool because it, it ended up being very, very useful um, when we were under attack. Moving on, there are three axes in which we're uh, doing some of this work, and you can see the fleshed out version of this in the handbook blueprint. Um, culturally, um, Again, we want to adopt more disciplined engineering practices, uh, get better at change management, predictability of changes in the environment, and adopting design documents as a, a way to essentially produce the, the design work that we're doing on how we plan to um, make changes in the environment. And also, we want to drive this cohesive, cohesive identity for infrastructure. The teams in infrastructure are made up of SREs and BBREs, and so we're not the SRE team or actually the infrastructure team and there's a number of um, functions inside this team. Working on workload, workflow, how we decide what we're going to work on. We've implemented milestones for the team so that we have a two-week sprint focus on the work that we have to tackle. Uh, you'll hear Dave and Jose sometimes when you approach them uh, to say we'll work on this on the next milestone and they prioritize that work, but once we enter the milestone, we really focus on, on that work. And then we want to start doing some reporting on that work as well. And functionally, finally, we have functional focus uh, for the database storage and observability. Uh, I've already mentioned some of the work that's going on in, in the database. Uh, we also want to focus on the storage nodes because they really hold the, the true most valuable data, I think, that we, that we have, and um, we do have some work to do to protect that data a little better. And finally, observability. Uh, if we are flying blind, we really can assess the state of the environment. Uh, so we're doing a fair amount of work on that as well. Finally, I want to talk about this initiative that has been discussed in engineering recently, where we're doing a push to essentially move our development process towards CI CD. The end goal is to allow auto DevOps to deploy to GitHub.com. And there's, that's a long pull and a, and a very ambitious goal, but it's achievable because our product supports it and, and we know that there are uh, customers using this, so we should be able to do it as well. Uh, the first step in that, in that goal is to adopt CI CD in our development process. And that entails not just some technical solutions, but also a lot of changes that we need to drive across engineering. So there's been, a, again, a fair amount of discussion uh, in engineering as to what do we need to do to get started here? How do we align the engineering uh, departments uh, to start moving towards this goal? It's a non-trivial problem, uh, but we know we can get there. And part of what we need to do is to commit OKRs that are related to CICD and to reaching this objective. Um, so still working on, on some of that. Uh, we did publish a blueprint on essentially what this problem entails and what we want to get there. Um, so more coming up hopefully in the next FTU on progress on this area. And with that, this FTU is, is complete. Um, I will take any questions. Let me make sure to add, open the comment section. Uh, yes, Sid, I will make the edits so that the links are clickable. I don't know why Google Docs didn't make them. I will take care of that. Um, yes, lots of Germany, very excited. Uh, the Berlin meetup will be growing. Uh, actually, infrastructure already had a, a few members in Berlin, and I'm, I am looking forward to uh, traveling up to Berlin to meet everyone there. I've actually been trying to make it to I know there are several, um, I guess they're called co-working Fridays that I would love to attend. It's just scheduling has been difficult, but uh, I now have a great excuse to go to, go to Berlin. Hmm. 
I do every third Thursday. Yes, yes, I, I, I did find the dates. It's just scheduling has been, has been crazy. But I, I will make it one way or another. I love Berlin. Anyway, if there are no more comments or questions, as always, uh, I'm available on Slack. The whole team is in Slack, so please always feel free to reach out uh, with suggestions, comments, or just uh, a coffee call. Thank you so very much. Have a good one.